Today's video is going to explain why I'm projecting on the 5th of June 2024 Bitcoin could reach $56,710 and by the 26th of July could reach 108596 Let's run the numbers. If you like this kind of concept, please smash that like button. Hey, that's a love heart. And don't forget to subscribe. But even more importantly, if you have a particular crypto project or something else that you would like me to, to do this kind of estimate on, please reach out and let me know in the comments. Okay, let's get into Bitcoin. When the Bitcoin ETF was approved on the 10th of January 2024, it sold down significantly and then it rallied up. What I've done here is take that fractal of price to see if we're getting an overlap. Now this gives us some guide as to what could happen with price, not what will happen, but what could happen and has happened in the past. Many people thought that when the spot Bitcoin ETF was approved, price would just absolutely go ballistic and instead it came down nearly 20%. But then it rallied up really significantly. If we see the same kind of behavior, we would expect a sell off down to that $56,710 mark and a subsequent rally up to nearly 109,000. If this occurs and we get a sell off, we're going to see a lot of people exit the crypto market just at the wrong time. That's how people felt when the spot Bitcoin ETF was approved and then it just did nothing except go down. Typically, what the large institutions do, they want to move contrary to what the general public thinks will happen. And just going down like this, bringing the price down, is very, very profitable to them. Always remember the 10-5-10 rule. If a price starts at 10 and it goes down to 5s, that is a 50% reduction. But if it just retraces back to 10, from 5 to 10 isn't a 50% increase. From 5 to 7.5 would be a 50% increase. From 5 up to 10 is a 100% increase. That means any gift you get where price comes down and then subsequently retraces and goes further is a gift that keeps on giving. That means you're on the right side of the percentage. Now there's a little bit more to it than just drawing fractals. We need to look at the structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on Bitcoin and use CTKS levels around here to predict where we could be going to next. This is a very important thing that you need to do. Knowing where your structural levels are is vitally important. Price is really chaotic, but it's not as chaotic as you may actually think. Price is always moving between structural resistance levels and structural support levels. And you have to just bear in mind that structural resistance and structural support are for all of price history, not just recent indicative price, because RIP, recent indicative price, will do exactly that to your money. It will RIP it. So let's turn on the indicator and this indicator is the structural view of Bitcoin and it's available from ctksmethod.org. Let's pop it on. To draw up CTKS levels, these things here, these dotted lines, each dotted line has a different meaning and you can see there is a big gap between here. This is called a negative fresh air gap. When you get a negative fresh air gap, price can move down very, very quickly, but it finds support on structural levels. This is the world's only leading indicator of price and it's the most powerful technical analysis indicator available. I'll just explain how to read it. From the approval of the Ethereum ETF, what did we see? Price was getting up inside Bitcoin. This is not Ethereum, but Ethereum's approval by the SEC was a very significant market event. This pushed the price up of Bitcoin, but Bitcoin couldn't overcome this level of lighter structural resistance 
When it did, it got up to the next level but couldn't bypass it. It didn't get over it, confirm it as support and go for it. When you see this kind of behavior, you know that you're going to come back and revisit a lower structural level. This is how you can use them in trading and investing. When we saw this failure here, as well as a failure here and a failure here, we knew that we were heading down to the lower 66, 800 level. Price is always moving between structural resistance and structural support. If it's not going above, it's going below. And it's a very simple way to do your trading and investing. What you can see here is that we found support holding. We didn't go underneath, reconfirm and keep on going down. We held it as support. This created a technical bounce. So we were trying to challenge this level of structural resistance above the 69,300 mark. So far, we haven't got to it. But what could happen now if we come up and make a higher high here and we challenge these sellers who are inhabiting these levels, we may well get up to that 69,700 mark and start challenging the 70,000. If we get above this previous level of structural support or structural resistance and start to confirm it as structural support, that creates a bullish case. But if we don't get up here, if we create a lower high, you can see this is a high, this is a high. But if we have a high here, that's going to be lower than these ones. If that is the case, that puts in bearish price momentum and we could come down to that 66, 800 mark. The focus of the CTKS global community and global family is to help you to become more of a financial blessing to yourself and those you love. One of the best ways of doing that is to know the truth of the market. This is what this indicator gives you. And you can learn how to do this yourself through level one and level two standard certification. The links are in the description of this video. Right now in the crypto market, we know that Bitcoin has quite a Pinning, underpinning of structural support. Everything rests on getting above 69,700. So keep that particular price point in mind across the weekend. If the spot Bitcoin fractal plays out, we would expect a movement down around the 61,800 mark. Just keep this in mind and just a sell off down to 56,710. But this is just a fractal. We have to look at structure. Structure tells us where the structural support and structural resistance levels are inside the market. Having been inside financial markets for nearly four decades, one of the things that I would always recommend, you know where your structure is. Structure is always drawn from all of price history, not just recent indicative price. If you just draw structure from recent indicative price, you're typically getting a very small percentage of the price analysis, and this can be very harmful to your portfolio. We'll be keeping our eye on how price tracks, not just with structure, but also this fractal. Are we coming down to 56,710 or will structure support an upwards movement? We always have to be flexible in our approach. And always remember the 10, 5, 10 rule. If it comes down from 10 to 5, that's a 50% reduction. But if it comes right back up again, it may be a 0% movement if you held at 10. But if you bought at 5, it's a 100% increase. It's really powerful to get onto the right side of the percentage. That's exactly why we do this kind of analysis. If you would like to read more about the certification, please just go across to ctksmethod.org. Links are in the description of this video. And if you're interested in the masterclass, the ambassadors can help you out. Links are also in the description of this video. We'll be tracking the adherence to price, not only from a structural perspective, but also from this previous fractal perspective. Are we coming down to 56,000 or do you think it's just going up from here? Please let me know in the comments. And always have your three dimensional thinking at all times. Know what you will do if price just goes up, goes flat and consolidates or come down. You need three simultaneous strategies to invest and trade. And we are in a bull market, so just keep that in mind. Have a great day or night ahead, my friends. And Kate and I look forward to catching up with you again in the next video. Bye for now.